Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Attack Productions. Today I bank off being joined practically by everyone. And in today's lineup, Jimmy, Jake, Nick, Tanner, and like always, Fluff. Fantastic, I heard my name this time. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm playing the role as Tanner's life coach. Yes. Uh, the life of lesson was play green. Um, and... And Fluff here, what up, people? I just want to say before we get into this, I just came across a Supreme Kai deck on Shenron's Lair that is called Plan B, and the deck is terrible. I'm not sure if that is, like, a commentary of some sort on the affairs of, like, <laughs> birth control or what, but, yeah. Enjoy the game. Um, there's buttons. You know, click them. If you enjoy, and put comments down below. But uh, today's matchup is Jake playing Dark Broly versus Tanner playing Nick's Turles deck. Correct. That is yeah, correct, I, sir. Yeah, I, I showed up late to locals. I had to move my storage unit. I found all my uh, old cards, and I didn't have a deck, so Nick very kindly let me play Turles. Yeah, it turns out I can build stuff right every now and then. Yeah. It did pretty well. Well, with that, I love the deck. Being, it's real, real good. With that being said, guys, take it away. We done took it, buddy. Yeah, I was, I was expecting Bancroft to beg for likes like he normally does. That's okay. We get, we get. If if, if you like the video, like it. If not, just don't, just don't fucking doesn't fucking matter. Just stop. I I, I, I did things? say click the buttons are there, and I also said comment. I I I don't remember that part. Well, I remember that part. It's there. You're lying to me. We've already missed our first misplay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please go on. <laughs> so I forgot to make Jake flip over a life. Pretty critical in the Turles deck. So uh, we, we do correct it, sort of, at the end here. But I just uh, just wanted to go ahead and point that out because our viewers, are ha they are very eagle-eyed and they point those things out. Yeah. So. And it looks like I forgot to draw a card on that leader swing too, but I honestly might have picked it up after my leader effect. Um, today's lesson is uh, tilt is real, and if you allow yourself to mentally get put out of a game, you will make a lot of small mistakes. And in a matchup like this, where I'm playing mono black, which doesn't really have super consistent defensive options against this uh, pretty turbo turtless list. Um, I have to play super correctly. And to be perfectly honest, I was just so tilted from the round before that I couldn't really see the forest for the trees in this matchup. And you'll see as this match goes on, I make a lot of critical errors. Side note, it's the match that Jake won. Wait, did I spoil? I never spoiled. Did I Did I say something? No, the last game. Nick spoiled it. Oh, it was your, you were talking your last game, your first game. No, he got he got tilted by the second game. Yeah, the round before it. Yeah, this is round. Yeah, that was the first round, which I had, which no, I had nothing to do with. I don't know. No, 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 no. Jimmy had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with this. Also, shut up, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what you're fucking talking okay. about. Get out of get out of the call. Go Actually, away. Actually, Nick, because you do because you do know what you're talking about. Did I make the play correctly here? Um, I don't know what you do. <laughs> I played that guy with a combo who searches out the other guy, and then I discarded the Beerus like you told me. That's exactly what you do. Yeah, that's that's one of the great little combo wombos you can do with the little guys. Um, they're so easily playable. I mean, they're only 3k combos, so they're not really pertinent to pushing or defending but they are really good at getting them out onto the field and getting their effects off so you get you get one free blocker you get one draw one drop one um you can combo it off with the beers if it's in hand so you just get a lot of free value and a lot of swings off off your stuff and they're easy to recur because you're just going to be going through the combo stuff all the time and jake you taught me a good lesson that when sometimes it's better to take up the face up life I feel like, Nick, the first time I played you with Turles at the Matt Kleiner Invitational, um, I did not do that. And I realized how effective that is against this match when you start to have a bunch of fruits in hand and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, I asked you a few times, like, do you pick the life or do I, to make sure that I could pick up that face-up life every yeah. time. On the front side, huh? um, you, you pick it. On the back side, I pick it, from what I recall. 
Well, that's that's only the leader. Only the leader's damage will let you will let okay. you the player pick the life. Let's see, this um, is why we got back here. But that's why you have a lot of cards in the deck that forcibly flips your opponent's life up besides Tree of Might, right? So there's right. the arrival, mini arrival, Turles, that'll do that. Um, there is the Turles Xeno Chain, which does that on the blocker. Um, I'm going to be making some changes to the deck with the new promo cards, adding in the new one, the old one drop SR, and one that's on play, that'll flip a life. So you have a lot of ways to flip life up besides Tree, and that's super important if you want to keep, keep fruit life. I gotta say, I did get the grossest opening hand. I had the Demigra, I had the Charismatic, I had two Dormants, and then I had the Combo Chain. And it was just gravy from there. So I'm just making so many mistakes. Forgot to draw again. Uh, I could have picked up this life and Awakened and really uh, extended my hand here. And if memory serves, I'm about to make another critical error. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, one, buddy. Two, three. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm big enough to admit when I'm uh, wrong. So, let's see. Because you play the overrealm, but you don't yep, have... Yep. Yeah. So, I overrealm for a uh, Broly the Vindicator to try and like extend my plays and make some pushback against his board. And I forget that I can't activate the auto unless he has three energy. So I've basically warped my whole drop area, which I've spent the whole game trying to create to uh, extend my plays, and then uh, spent resources into a battle card that will not survive. Uh, it's just going to get overwhelmed no matter what. So um, Tanner has no reason to defend against it at all. He can just pick up the free card if I attack uh, his life, which it looks like I'm going to do. And yeah, I do. And... Uh, from there, uh, he really just has the driver's seat in this game. I'm curious, is that a newer card? Because I've never yes. actually seen that played. Yep. I don't know. Okay, that was it, set for 13 or whatever? Yes. And the card is fantastic. Yeah, um, I mistakenly thought it was bad uh, before the event and hadn't included it in my list. And then Jimmy corrected me, but uh, I didn't actually play test with the card at all until I sat down to this event. So, uh, you can see why I made this mistake. Read your cards, know your plays. Uh, fluff, out. fluff out. That's where we end the video. Guys, the guys, the video is still going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not end it. Cut no, it off. Cut it off. No, I actually, I don't know if that's a waste of a charismatic, but I felt like if I wanted to go aggro so next turn. Good. That was the best play you made all game. You knew it was going to get overwhelmed anyway. You knew the Gohan could come out, and you saved the Charismatic to respond to my only defense. That was the best play you made all game. Because I was a little unsure about it, to be honest. So that's good to hear. It's been a, it's been a little bit for me. I, I find that a well placed counterplay, where if you're placing it on a like off play, kind of like the Gohan or. Uh, like a supporting play and not like a big body that's going to be dealing damage to you, which is, you know, that's still good because you get rid of the big body. But most of the time, your opponent's expecting their boss monster to get counterplayed or, you know, it's some sort of uh, a defense against the boss monster. But when you're just playing out something as like a defensive or like a uh, um, a another like supporting option and you counterplay that, it could throw off an entire game. And then I guess that's revenge for that cold bloodlust that you did our last game on channel. Oh, you yeah. got your revenge, buddy. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was a excellent counterplay. Yeah, that, that that one made me sad. I still I still have dreams about it. Um, oh, come on, man. Yeah. So the uh, I do find that the front side gives you consistency on this. I was actually kind of shocked at how effective that was. Um, I kind of thought initially reading the leader that that look for the top five was going to be a little underwhelming. Um, and then now I'm swinging with Demigra, obviously, to avoid proccing the Protector. And then I'm going to try to combo to get some more um, Turles Crusher Corpse on board. And I got to read to make sure I'm doing it correctly. So, Nick, take it away. 
Uh, okay. Uh, so as Tanner was saying, like the deck does have a lot of consistency. Um, the card he just played, um, the DS, he is also a searcher. So he searches the top three for a Trailless Crusher core. Um, the leader will search top five to for a Trailless Crusher core. Um, and you have a lot of targets to pick from. You have the Little Weenies, the Brothers, you have Diaz himself. There's a few Trailless cards you can pick. And then we also have the Super Combo, which is a Trailless Crusher core too. So there, there's a lot of things you can hit. It's very rare when you miss with the search, just because you have so much of it. I didn't realize how, like clutch that super combo was as well with that mini arrival package um or i guess the pseudo arrival um it worked out really well and i also thought over tapping out here the reason i did this is knowing the two dormants in hand i figure even though i'm going to get protectored into oblivion i might as well get that body out get my crusher corpse some extra buff and get that critical swing in and Protector of the People is a card I've actually gone deeper on in revisions of this list. Um, my incorrect assumption about Dark Broly is that it was a very uh, hype and aggro deck, and really I find it's better served in the mid-range or like turn 4 or 5 looking for a kill. Um, you just feel more agile, and revealing that from my life was just huge as well. Uh, oh yeah. Knowing that... Uh, you know exactly, you know where that that well, huge defensive piece is is, uh, is unfortunate big. for me. Um, that's the interesting thing about Dark Broly that I've I've played a couple different people with it. Yeah, and I think that's what makes it so lethal is that everybody plays it a little bit differently. I do think there probably is a correct way to play it, but I've played against somebody who got three bodies on board turn one before, and that was gross. Um, now I was playing Go Tanks when that happened, but. Here, I've noticed that, like you said, you play almost a turn four, turn five, wait and sit. So it's interesting that Dark Broly plays so many different ways. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm pretty new with the deck. I've spent the last couple months on Mecha Frieza, and it seems like uh, even even if he survives the upcoming ban list, it's just uh, hasn't really been giving me the results I've wanted. So I'm trying a new deck and uh, trying to have a little bit of fun. Jimmy, what are your thoughts on, the, on that? Yeah, or, uh, to, I was about to say, yeah, to touch on the idea of like a dark Rolly going into the late game. Uh, I I've always thought of dark Rolly as being like the late game king. Like he can make so many free actions towards the late game that is unrivaled by any other deck. Uh, like he he just has so many options and so many paths you can take that once you get to the point where you don't have to worry about uh, your energy and you can just spend energy willy-nilly, like, the deck can do ridiculous things that no other deck can do. Uh, so I, I agree 100% with Jake. I think, like, the turn four and beyond is where Dark Broly really, really shines, even though he does have a really good early game, as shown by, uh, the, like, the Florida meta... Uh, and a lot of tops recently of Dark Broly just playing like the straight gas variant. I think the uh, the early game of that gas variant is really held up by a lot of those lists run four copies of Brainwashed. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, you're, when your meta is really aggro heavy, like the Florida meta appears to be with, you know, the popularity of black as a color in general, um... The best counter to that, or a good counter to that, I should say, is playing control decks with, like, big boss monsters. And if you don't have to worry about boss monsters at all with four copies of Brainwashed in your list, you could kind of go deeper into the uh, aggro monkeys, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I honestly feel like that's where that comes from. It's, like, just held up by Brainwashed. Yeah, pretty much just a ridiculous card, and every every bit of that card's text is amazing. Honestly, I always forget about the leader being able to free combo with the big bodies as well. That is such a crucial piece. Yeah, um, talk about free actions late game. Let me swing with my whole board and then swing with my lead and combo everything on my board into my leader for the alpha strike. I don't think I want to take the life, and then I I don't remember what happened here. Oh, you're comboing more. Yeah, I went ahead and told you, hey, I'm taking that life. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to uh, continue comboing. Drop 
cards, build the drop up. Just try and find some kind of defense against your wide board. So I don't remember if I asked you during our matchup, but why the Goku super combo and not just four copies of Vegeta? Uh, I only own two. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Bro. <laughs> you have friends. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I've well, got I, I've got two extras. Well honestly, I was so worried about borrowing the actual Broly's from Jimmy that I forgot to borrow the uh Vegeta's as well. So that's Dude, I just gave you the deck. You could have just took the entire <laughs> damn deck, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but like I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I got you, homie. It unless we're doing you. unless we're doing one of those deck swap episodes. It feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> That well, sounds shit. We kind of did it with this. What are you talking I was gonna about? Say, that sounds kind of kinky, like deck swaps. It's like, happened before. Yeah. This is actually the uh, pilot yeah. episode when half the battle was a deck swap. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was one where both of us were playing each other's deck against each other, right? Who was that? It was me and Jimmy. Yeah. Look in the look in the archives. We're not going to tell you which video it is. You have to watch say, every video to find wait, out which which battle no, it is. I, re- which, I which remember. A- I remember which one it was. Yep. Which attack on productions person was the character who didn't test well that we cut out? If it's the pilot, it was. There- it was supposed to be me, but we didn't have enough uh, actors. So. Oh, okay, okay. So you made it. Um, despite that yeah i'm like joe rogan on that news radio show or whatever like i was gonna get cut but i just barely squeaked by yeah so the demeager play i figured you were gonna play another gohan um so that's why charismatic the broly because i figured i could just minus three on demeager to get rid of the blocker very cool um, yeah i had another demeager in hand if this wasn't the kill turn anyways um went ahead and did the play two um charging a dormant felt gross there um, yeah, I went ahead and awakened so I get the double strike. I'm getting ready to do the double strike crit with the uh, 15k two drop. I guess he's a four drop, but he becomes a two drop to try to go ahead and get rid of that brainwashed. And then um, I think you flip up another one here in a minute. That, yeah, that told me to... this part is, is great, honestly. Um, it buffs all your little weenies, so you get a lot of value out of them. Now they're actually threatening. Um, he boosts himself up, so he's a big attacker. And when he attacks, he KOs something on attack, which I don't know if you did that, Tanner, because you could have got rid of that Dark Broly. Oh, I did not. See, this is why you're here, Nick. This is why yeah. you're here. This is officially um, the worst episode of Attack on Productions. Oh, oh, <laughs> the worst? Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Well, there's the mini any Bancroft deck profile. Ouch. Wait, what about Frieza Prison profile number 20? There's only four. Can't be any worse than Blue Baby profile number five, right? Honestly, I think Blue Baby's on the uptick. I think it really fell off around, like, the ninth edition of Frieza Prison. (laughs) Yeah, at least people want to play Prison and Baby. You've got, like, three Revive Coup profiles on here, so... I don't think anybody's ever been like, yo, let's see a revive coup list. If you want to see a revive coup list, let Tanner know. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, Please we're don't. talking to you. Please don't. They right. can do it. We need the content. So what's happening <laughs> in this attack right now? I'm comboing a shit ton so I can double strike crit him to get rid of the two the ball and the brainwashed, and then I'm just gonna like mosey him down. Yeah, just Walk me down the yard. <laughs> so, so you do have, you do have fruit on. Um, he is twenty five k, and then what else did you combo? Uh, a super combo, I think, and another five k, and another five k or three k. It's, it's unique, but so it can't hit the field. I remember this. Yeah, because I wanted to get the, I wanted to get the uh, mini arrival out, or the well, pseudo arrival. He's huge because yeah. he also gives himself power too. Yeah. So he's so you get a lot of tall boys when you have the right stuff on field. It's pretty fun. Yep. I think Jake at this point was ready to just be done. Um, <laughs> so. I, I feel like a wounded animal. Like just finish me. But I appreciate <laughs> you letting me get the get the 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 stuff in there. Well, I mean, you know. Now I'm going for the leader swing for here. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy, you're hurting my feelings with worst episode ever, man. That's uh, 
I don't know. My, I mean, I was doing the Dark Broly auto wrong for the entire video because I was so tired. So I was doing the backside auto combined with the front side auto. I wasn't drawing when I was swinging. Uh, I overwhelmed on turn two. It's pretty rough. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Yeah. At least you gave me my field back there when you scooped. Yeah, that was a, a kind yeah, of a, you, a, a you rough. You just take, take the field. <laughs> Yeah, now you're yeah. getting Jimmy's cards yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty tilted. I wondered what the hell you were doing there. I'm like, why is he? Why is he like getting it all out? Is he laying the list out? Is he like? And then you're like, oh, Jimmy, let me borrow this. So, well, uh, honestly, I was gonna give this stuff back to Jimmy, and he was like, no, you have to play this deck again. So you'll see Dark Broly again next week. Yeah. Also, shout out Aaron for coloring on this beautiful mat. If uh, I had to borrow the mat from the shop as well, so that's why Gogeta that. has some extra. Like a fucking spastic child. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, buddy. So, I guess to save Jake from this uh, video, last words. Jake. Uh, If you want to win, you have to practice. And uh, if you don't win, it's okay. Tanner? Um, the power of friendship lets you join in the second round and play green some more. Nick. We got to see Battle of the Borrowed Decks, and it was pretty fun to watch everybody squirm around. <laughs> Jimmy. Uh, I just, I just want to give a shout out to all of our Arizona fans. Fantastic people. Uh, the, uh, since this is Tanner's channel now. It's not, it's not. Uh, send us some sand. <laughs> yeah, send us some sand. Uh, shout out, shout out, Miss Mullen. I want to I, I want to I want a scorpion in a box. Just <laughs> yeah, m m m Jenny, please send us some uh, some some scorpions. I'm sorry, I'm a disappointment to you. Uh, you fluff, probably that with the sand and save on shipping. Right? <laughs> yeah. I need tracking on that. Fluff, get us out. Um, please don't send me a scorpion. I don't know <laughs> if I'm allergic or not. Um, read your cards, know your plays. This isn't the worst video that we've done. I promise there were much worse. <laughs> Um, let us make mistakes so you don't have to like this video and fluff out.